We got carpets in the house. Hey fellas, welcome back to the channel. I'm really pumped today because it's the first video on Project H3. If you don't know what I'm talking about or you're new here, maybe check out the last video and all will become clear because I bought a double garage and a single, which came with a free house. So as pumped as I am about that, a lot of work's got to go on in that house. And today we're going to rewind from this beautiful sunshine that we're looking at today, back to a cold, frosty morning in January. I think it was something like Saturday the 23rd of January, if I, rem if I remember rightly. So join me outside the front door where I got this and these suckers I see at the door. So that's a tour of the new house. Plenty of work to be done because uh, as you can see by some of the carpets, curtains, whatever, um, what you won't be able to see is absolutely stinks. It really does honk in here. Um, it's not been lived in for about a year and um, I think the former owner was a pretty heavy cigar smoker or something because it's got a real stench of smoke. So before we can move the family in here, um, we're ripping out all these carpets, everything, curtains, the lot, blinds, anything that's made of fabric, we're going to rip it all out now. And, um, and a couple of the rooms where you can definitely detect there's been the smoke, uh, we're going to paint and sugar soap and paint those rooms um, before we put new carpets in. So, got a lot to do, not much time to do it in, so I'll try and fix a couple of cams up. Um, and take you along on a journey but yeah essentially this is project h3 and uh, i'm going to be bread i'm going to be sharing this on the channel as well as my van videos um so if this isn't your cup of tea or you're not interested in it fair play um i'm going to make the titles very very clear so that you can obviously not watch those videos if you if you don't want to but the channel's not changing in direction or anything like that i'm still in fact quite the opposite because once this is fixed i got something really cool to show you, which I'll be showing you in a video very shortly um, because um, you may have already seen that video. It's probably going to come out before this. Um, but yeah, um, the uh, in case I haven't given the game away, you'll, sh you, you'll know what I'm talking about if you're a hardcore subscriber. But anyway, enough of the waffle. I need to get cracking and really start to turn this place around so we can um, get the carpets in in a couple of days. So yeah. Stay tuned, check this out. Alright 
choice. That's the room stripped. It's ready for painting. I'm just going to smash a little bit on the ceiling uh, because I think a lot of the smoke and that would have absorbed up to the top there. Um, the rest of the walls are pretty good, uh, but based on the fact that I've got to get nearly all of the rooms we're carpeting and stripped today and tomorrow, so I'm just going to smash the ceiling out and then, um, yeah, on to the next room. That's one down, however many to go. <laughs> So that's what you want to find when you pull your carpets up. That, that, that's floating my boat. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Some of you won't know what the hell I'm on about and some of you will get it totally, but comment below if you get what I mean by that. Anyway, we'll carry on with the show. <laughs> All right, so we've been really cracking on and uh, trying to keep our heads down doing this painting and stripping. Um, we've got all the upstairs stripped and we've got this room the ceiling's been completely overpainted with sugar soaked it, and then we've um, completely rolled uh, a coat of white on there. Still a bit patchy because it's drying, but it smells a lot better in here now. And we lit that fire um, just to check whether the chimney was clear and all that kind of stuff. So I'll show up a quick shot of that now, and, and um, yeah, let me give, the, give you a quick tour. Okay, so this is the uh, lounge. We're gonna be blocking up those doors. They're gonna go. Uh, there's a, there's a, we don't wanna be looking at that wall. And there's a double aspect window in here. So we've got a bay window at that end and we've got another little bay window at that end. Uh, there's the beast. Um, and then uh, through there currently is the dining room and we are camping out in there. Check out that carpet. That is some carpet. <laughs> yeah, that's us. We're not for long. Uh, so yep, yeah, going through. We have this tiny little toilet downstairs. Looking a little bit 80s. And then we strip the hallway through, strip the reception, office. This is where I'll be making my videos. I haven't yet taken those curtains and light fitting and stuff down. And we're gonna have to strip back these walls. Look at that window. I'm not a fan. Uh, his wife taking out all the little staples from the underlay. <laughs> Yeah, so here we go upstairs and around. It's all stripped. Uh, every room is stripped, every room. And it's been snowing. <laughs> Woke up to about five inches of snow. Uh, how much snow? Three. Three inches. <laughs> You know what it's like, we always over exaggerate. Anyway, uh, so that's one of the rooms. That's, this is gonna be the kids' play. This is gonna be the kids' playroom. A little rule room to play all the games and stuff in here. This is going to be my eldest lad's room. So, stripped and ready for new carpet. Smelling good. That's just covered. And then, this is going to be the two Lipland's room they want to share. So for now, I'm going to put them both in here um, on, on a bunk. So that's that room. Nicely stripped. And then that is the, oh, this is the bathroom. This is the family bathroom. <laughs> Now check out that 1980s bath. 
That is a beast. <laughs> Back when I was little, those things were the bomb B. But uh, it's not going to stay for too long here. Um, so yeah, this is the family bathroom. Has not, but this place has not been touched since it was built. And it was built in 1989. But good sized bathroom so we can do a lot with this when we get around to it. And then through, we've got the main bedroom. So we've got this kind of built in cupboard, which we'll do for now. We've stripped it. All the floors are out, everything is stripped. Uh, and there's also an ensuite in here. Still completely original by the look of it. All the fittings and everything else. Uh, and it's even got a bath in here. Um, but it's not going to have a bath forever. We'll be fixing this up for something a bit more sleek. Um, so that's the tour over for now. Um, still got work to do tonight. We've got to get all these little pins out of this floor and stuff. Um, so we're going to get cracking on with that. And um, I think now I'm ready for a coffee. Uh, and then tomorrow we've got carpets coming in, um, new ovens for the kitchen, uh, heating's, our oh, heating's working again. Um, we've got some heat now, so I'm going to put a hive on that tomorrow. Um, and to now, today we need to get this bathroom, this um, bedroom ceiling painted because the guy, I think, or gal, I don't know, the person who used to live here before, must have smoked in here because um, although this room doesn't smell now, now the carpets have gone, we're going to give it a, a coat or two of paint on there anyway tonight before the carpets come in tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll update you as soon as we're there. <laughs> Ready for another cup of tea? Oh, I'd love one, mate. Yeah. So I'm currently standing in the kind of boot roomy kind of thing that was built with the house, um, which leads into the utility. Let me flip you round. So as you can see, this room is gross. Plans are to knock this wall through here, knock this wall through here, and we're going to extend out that way um, into this part. So uh, we're going to be extending out there off this window and um, it's going to be all part of the kitchen so we can get a decent sized kitchen like you used to have. That's probably around um, six, 12 months away because we need planning and stuff and there's other things we need doing desperately in the uh, other side of the house. I'm just going to kind of tidy this up, dry out that floor, throw down something on the floor like a cheap lino for now so as I can get a, a bit of counter in there and some... Um, some appliances and stuff, just the washer and dryer I've got coming here because we've got about a week's worth of washing built up, which is nuts. So that's today's job. I'm gonna um, fix up this a bit. So yeah, that's what we're into.
All right, so quick glimpse at the finished touch there because um, just literally threw some stuff in here to get it a bit cleaner and livable. Um, so we've got um, a nice sink now, as you saw, some white gloss doors and a cupboard there. Um, just put some sort of bits and pieces in it, plumbed them all up and um, got the appliances there. Nothing too spectacular, it's just a mate do and a cupboard on the wall. So we've got it, it's nice and clean now anyway. So we've got it um, livable because as I said before, it's gonna be around about 12 months or so and we'll be taking it, we'll be sort of knocking through these walls anyway with part of the plan. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap for the video. Um, it's a real quick look into what we're doing here, but um, hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if it was any good. And um, as I've said before, I've got other content on here. Um, if you're quite new here, I do do some van content as well. Check out the other videos. Um, but I shall make these videos very clear as to whether it's house content or van content. So um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. I've got another video about to drop real soon, which is some van content. Um, so that will be here real soon now. And part two on the house build will be coming up really soon as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload. And I'll see you real soon in the next part on the house build. Take care.